Goon Tog, my name is DMAD, and welcome to another episode of Golden Grass Safari. So, as you saw in the last episode, we had a bunch of problems with animal health, injuries, and all that. So, in this episode, I'm building an animal hospital. As you can see, this building is mostly the animal veterinary office, but it also has a trade center, employees, I think a keeper hut, and a quarantine, as well as its own generator to keep everything running. So what you see right here that I'm building is a waiting room. One inspiration I kind of took was from the Oklahoma City Zoo. If you haven't been there, in their Oklahoma Trail section, they actually have a wait, or they have a path that leads up to their animal hospital. And if you're lucky, you can see babies or you can see procedures being done. Like you can look down on them. So I kind of took some inspiration from that. Other than that, I'm just putting some metal plating on the outside. Uh, I do change this actually. So we'll get to that later. I actually changed up what the frame looked like. Making a little airlock door. Kind of coating all the inside with some concrete and then I'm also adding or I took out the concrete and I'm adding more metal uh, walls and uh, gateway stuff so it's kind of a more I want to say a more clean environment more modern clean looking environment um, in the staff area so I took these out and replace them with a different kind of wall structure. So then I thought it was kind of cramped uh, in the viewing area, so I decided to move everything back a little. That way guests have more room to see. Also adding an employee bathroom. And then the guest, guest bathroom. Adding like a little cafeteria area. One day I'd actually like to make like a full on hospital. Maybe I'll do it in Minecraft, but I don't know. We'll see. Kind of went through trying to decide what flooring I wanted, and then I eventually just settled on the concrete floor because I believe I do put a like flooring architecture in, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so. Adding kind of like that little brick look. And then just coating the whole area in it. And then I also had to cover these up, so I made it matching. And then all the bathroom and all. Just covering everything up, making it all look pretty nice. And then for the or then I added just a basic roof because or a basic ceiling because so I do add a different kind of roof to the top. So kind of going through, covering everything up. Bit of tedious work. Oh yeah, I I made a flat roof in the beginning. But again, I am going to change that. Kind of adding just some modern benches, nothing too thematic. We do add some animal decorations. Um, I'm putting these little exhibit uh, education stuff in there to kind of show what's going on in the in the procedure. Adding some plants, kind of make the place look nice. Different pottery. Adding a little archway, or not an archway, but an awning, I think that's what it's called. And then I'm also adding some uh, one-way glass, that way the, or the vets don't get distracted. So, putting little vents and just stuff to make it look more modern. Adding clipboards so that our veterinarians know what's going on. And then just generic little animal signatures. And 
Um, after looking it up, I decided to name this hospital. Give me a sec. I have my notes right here. I decided to name it St. Eligius Animal Hospital after St. Eligius, who is the patron saint of veterinarians. So connecting it all to the path. And then this is where I wanted to change things up. So in my last video, I mentioned how I liked how Tanganyika had like a uniform like color scheme with all their buildings. So I decided to do that. I just gave it a brick building just or a brick wall just like the visitor center and then give it that golden tile. Like I said, I wanted to make it like golden grass safari, golden tile. So I'm just saying that to give it a more arched roof. So yeah, I, I am going to be doing all my buildings like this all the major ones at least and yeah that's pretty much it for the new animal hospital i hope you enjoyed it was a little shorter video than the last one but after this we're gonna get into more exhibits i have ideas for primates like i said i wanted to do a big african safari kind of use that great plains kansas landscape as well as also making north american areas but, you know, one, one thing at a time. We'll get there, but if you have any suggestions for animal habitats, or if you want to see one first, please let me know in the comments below. But with that, I think we're done here. If you enjoy this content, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel, as well as following us on our other social media platforms. The link tree will be in the description below. Also, share this video out to anyone who loves zoos, animals, planet zoo, or being creative and building zoo animal hospitals. I hope you enjoyed this content, and remember, always be prepared, do good daily, and love nature. For your life is a canvas, and you have the brush. Alvita Zane!